Welcome. Uh, we are somewhere where we shouldn't be. We're doing a little sneaky camp. Now, uh, I'm not filming this for uh, everybody because, as you know, there's been a few changes to the channel. So this is to the uh, anybody who wants to see this uh, or a select few. So uh, anyway, it's a little camp. And this time I'm trying out my new 58 pattern poncho, which is brand new from the 1980s. To show you. There it is. So it's brand new, this has never been used. Simple setup, just running the ridge line, tied it up using some of these bungees. And then in here, I'll just turn some light on. Simple, I've got no sleeping mat tonight. It's just going to be literally bivy on the floor, sleeping bag, some silver foil mat there. That's it. The uh, Swiss army rucks out there, the rubber one. And I've got this one with me tonight. This is another rubberized one. This has got all the food in. There's a couple of beers for later, as you do. And then we're trying this. I'll just turn that light off a second. Oh, oh. Here we go. We are trying this Polish MRE, which, from what I've translated, is a Hungarian goulash and um, some kind of fish and stuff, so we'll have a look inside of that. It's getting a bit dark. It's probably, I don't know the time, probably getting on for about seven o'clock. As you know, it gets dark about eight, so I've only got about an hour, then we'll be uh, in the dark. I've got uh, my buddy Andy, who's in his, uh, in his hammock over there. We've got a fire pit just the other side of him. He's just uh, getting in there, settling down, to make sure it works properly. But this is a nice, simple setup. Uh, this poncho, I, well, I was, actually I was hoping for a bit of rain because I really wanted it to rain so I could dry it out. But uh, anyway, let me just bring you around here and you can have a look. It's just simple, pegged up over there, a few bits of elastic holding it there, tied up on the tree. And then these long bungees, just doubled up. But tonight, well, they'll go down to there, I'll just put that one and that'll bring the sides down and keep some of the wind off. That's, um, sun's obviously setting over there. And I'll just take you over there actually so you can see. There's a big drop. Get over all these ridge lines. Let's have a look. There's like a sheer drop down there. <laughs> I don't know if you can see it. Anyway, so that is the setup. And um, nice and simple one tonight. Put the bag up the head end, in case there is any rain. Cuts down, some of the wind's coming in this direction anyway, so we'll be all right. But um, great simple setup there. Here it is, Andy the lightweight is out. And uh, he's putting his coat on, it's a bit chilly, isn't it? So right, I'm gonna leave it there for a second. Uh, I'm gonna get ready, I'm gonna get uh, set up. I'm probably gonna open a beer and um, We'll have a look at uh, that Polish MRE. Let's have a look what we've got in here. What's the surprise? Okay. Looks like a drinks pack, toilet tissue, some sweets. Let's open this one up. Rubbish bag, some salt, some chewing gum, the hand wipe, toilet paper, and then we've got pepper, and a little nice little sweet, I think, in the middle. So it looks like a coffee sweet. So there's a few bits and pieces in there. Come back to that. Let's open this main one up. Biscuits. Sugary, I'm just imagining they're sweet biscuits. Let's have a look what else we've got. A straw. Okay. <laughs> and a fork, a napkin. 
this here is, got no idea, some kind of fruit bar. So we'll uh, have a look at that. It's the main meal, which is Hungarian goulash. So uh, that'd be okay, wouldn't it? 300 grams. And looks like some kind of instant drink. An instant drink, sugar, glucose, yeah, looks like a lemon, some kind of lemon drink. I'm assuming the straw goes in that, mix it up, and then the flameless ration heater. Okay, side loading one, a standard thing you get in these, add some water, and then I'm assuming stick it in the bag, stick it in the side of that. And that's it, heat it up. So, okay, we've got something else in there, some more biscuits, some more sweet biscuits. There's two packs of biscuits. And we have got smoked winter sprats. <laughs> okay. And finally, looks like some honey. So that's the complete Polish one meal MRE. Let's get this going, I'm hungry. Right, it says tear here, let's tear that off. Okay, and there's a water fill line. So, we're gonna want some water. The water in. Now, some of these ones go off really quick, some of them don't. Put the pouch in. Get that really uh, get that wet. Hold it up and then stick it into the sleeve and let the magic happen, hopefully. We're going to look at these smoked winter sprats. Let's have a look. Okay. So basically like the tin fish you get, but smoked flavour, quite nice. So I'm gonna try some of those. With a cracker. Let's see what these are like. Quite nice. Mmm. Unusual tasting. Oh yeah. That's kicked into life. <laughs> Can't even touch it and get anywhere near it. Sprats are um, interesting, shall we say. But edible. Let's get a drink going. Let's see if this tears open. She does. It's got a seal on it. Mm. Smells lemony. Let's give it a go with uh, a bit of water in it. I'll try that. Do that up. Give it a bit of a shake. Let's give this a go. A bit of a stir. Mm. A nice lemon drink with bits of fruit in it. A 
but yeah, very nice. Something to wash the sprouts down with. Right, we've got it out. It's been about 10 minutes. Lumps of beef in it are absolutely spot on. No fat on them at all. Mm. Peppers in it, a really nice sauce. No complaints about that one. There's just absolutely no fat, just break up when you eat them. Mm. It's, um, it's a great one meal, apart from the crackers. That are just basically like wood, which is handy because um, and it's just lit a fire over there. Getting this salmon uh, cooking, very nice. So that's the fire lit. It's a handy little old bench, handy found. And then the hammock. With this down sleeping bag, got a mat in between. I was just going to flip the tarp over the top uh, for tonight, and that's good. So uh, this is camp. That's my setup, and it's getting dark pretty quick. Well, we've had a good evening, sat by the fire, and um, had a few beers. And now it's time for bed. It's pretty windy out there, but uh, hopefully, should have a good night's sleep. I'm going to make myself a coffee using my, uh, my little set there with a coffee and uh, get my head down. So I'll uh, continue filming in the morning. I'll catch you then. It was quite windy. There's, um, there's a fair bit of wind going around, flapping around. This just uh, seems to have stayed there anyway. A cup of coffee on the go. And uh, that's about it. It's come round. Definitely noticed the uh, evening's getting uh, shorter. And obviously it uh, doesn't get light as quick. So it's about half seven. I've been awake for a little while, just um, chilling. Okay, time to pack up. Dead simple setup this with this poncho and these uh, bungees. Just a ridge line. That's it. So, um, sleeping bags away. Bivy bag. Just gonna disconnect this. Put over that way. Dog walkers and things. Who gets up this early on a Sunday? Drives here, walks a dog. I must be lazy. Anyway, I'll get this bit tidied up. Get the ridge down. And when all is done. Well, everything's packed away. I'll just swing you around so you can have a look. Can't tell we've been there. And then um, let's have another cup of coffee. Said coffee, there we go. Lovely. Oh. Then I'm going to try the um, cereal bar. Um, Andy's giving away our position by having the uh, jet engine going over there. Sorting out his breakfast. So we're on our way back up this hill. It's a nice still September morning. And that's it for our quick overnighter. So thanks for watching and look out for some new videos coming soon. Catch you later.